I've got $500 and only 30 minutes to make the most epic Pokemon binder that I can. But here's the thing, I'm not alone. What's up guys, it's Pokevault. That's right, Sean from Pokevault is here and even though we literally just met, we're about to duke it out because he's also got an empty binder and a $500 budget to make it awesome. You're watching Team Pokevault. All right, Baltimore, let's show these guys what we got, come on. Versus Team DPM. Let's go, Team Pokemon Monster, we got this. <laughs> and the first ever Speed Binder Challenge in three, Two, wait, I forgot how to count. Let's try again. In three, two, one, go. So we're here at the Frankenstein Collectibles show and it's absolutely like Disneyland for collectors here. I mean, look at everything that's around us. I am so confused about where to go right now. We've been walking for 40 seconds and have found no Pokemon. But here's the thing, whoever has the best binder by the end of the day wins the loser's binder and gets to give it away on their channel. Plus an extra 500 bucks is added to the pot. So yeah, we're playing for a thousand dollars here. But the question is who decides who the winner is? Introducing this guy. Hey, what's up? I'm Nick. And Nick is one of our subscribers and he's gonna choose the winning binder today. But he's not gonna know who's is who's because both binders look exactly the same. And right before we started, both Sean and I had 30 seconds each to ask Nick some questions. Uh, What's your favorite Pokemon? Umbreon. What are your three favorite sets? Go. Furious Fists, Legendary Treasures, and The Lost Origins. I'm not writing any of this down, but I have a semi-terrible memory. Vintage or modern? Um, vintage. Good choice. Favorite card you do not own? Moonbiron, I have to say it. That's like the whole budget, just so you know. Have you ever been convicted of a crime? Does a speeding ticket count? I think you're good. Pikachu, Charizard, Gengar. Keep one, trade one, fight one. Oh man, I'm gonna keep Pikachu. I'll fight Charizard and trade Gengar. <laughs> you're an animal. Do you like Miltank? Yeah, of course. Yes. Favorite pizza topping? Bacon. Yeah. Dude, crazy that his favorite Pokemon's Machamp, right? Yeah, definitely, exactly. We got this. This challenge is crazy, and I have less than 30 minutes remaining, and I have to make a decision on exactly what I want to do here. I need to find a loose Pokemon card vendor. I'm kind of worried that I'm not going to find Pokemon as much as, like, sports. Oh, another thing, by the way, I stole Pat's credit card, but we'll just keep that between us. Okay, it's been, like, five minutes. I haven't even stopped at any vendors yet. I see... Machamp, bro. Machamp. This guy's looking for Machamp. Yo, dude, what's up? How are you, dude? Dude, good to see you. This is going to be the beauty of our video, is I'm going to actually be able to buy things, and this dude is doing fan service the entire time that we're here. I'm in the middle of a video. Same Yo. content's amazing, hey, brother. Hey, thank you so much. I appreciate you. Yeah, yeah. Deep Pocket Monster. I know. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I want to take a picture of you? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, nice to meet you. Hi. Nice to meet you. Hey, thank you so much. Here's the thing. The last time I was here, I didn't go to a particular corner that all of you told me to go to that has a lot of Pokemon. And that's where I'm gonna go right now, if I can ever get through. Look at all this stuff. All right, so current situation, these dudes have the actual card that we're looking for. I don't know if this dude's gonna play ball. He looks a little bit tough. He has a little bit of a, of a tight hairdo. He's very nice though. I've asked if we can do some some filming. I don't think... I don't I think... Like that. I like that. I don't think he understands how serious this situation is. His <laughs> price is high, but we have the power of charisma and the ability to negotiate. Here at the first stop, the first thing that captures my attention is the alt art Umbreon. What if I just spend the whole 500 on a Moonbreon and, and like that's it? Yo, Yo what's up? Yo, what's Yo. up? Hey, oh nice to meet you. Oh, I was wondering if I could take a picture of you. Absolutely, I'm what's your subscribed name? to all of your videos. Dude. My name's Fausto. <laughs> Thank you, man, I appreciate you. Dude, what's your name? Pierre. Pierre, nice to meet you, Pierre. Nice to meet you, man. All right, we're here with Pierre. I said all of those nice things right before we met, so he should be <laughs> ready to go. I primed him for a negotiation deal. Pierre, I am searching for one specific card you probably know what that card is. Can we look at a Evolving Skies Moon Baby? A Moonbreon? Yes. I see it right here. You're actually gonna look because I think I was gonna update these prices, so... Okay, Pierre, is, is he just said that he's actually gonna be lowering prices. This might be a situation where I just come back with one card. Right, let's see. Pierre was made for camera. Look at this guy. What's your YouTube channel, Pierre? Let us know how many subscribers you have. Instead of looking around, I just ask, because if you don't ask, you don't get. Um, I'm looking for Umbreons, and specifically if you have any uh, vintage ones, that'd be good. He didn't have any vintage Umbreons, like from Neo, but he did pull out this binder, and then bam, an entire page of Umbreons. I love how this whole page looks. How much for this full page? I'll do 15 bucks. That alt art Umbreon keeps me curious though, so I ask him what the price would be. It's the same 500. Yeah. 500. Dude, that's wild. That would be my whole budget. And honestly, I want to fill in this binder with as much as I can for Nick. Then all of a sudden, I see something for sale on the side that captures my eye. Oh, bro. This is the move right here. Umbreon sleeves. All right, I got the modern page of Umbreons, but I want to get some more vintage in here as well, based on Nick's 
makes answers. Oh man, base it too, oh, I needed you. Then these Zapdoses from Fossil catch my eye. They look so good on this page. How much for the uh, the Zapdos hollows? I'll double check. That's funny, you like all the Pokemon I like. <laughs> <laughs> this guy is sweet talking me, but shouldn't it be the other way around if I want to strike a good deal here? What kind of price were you looking for? Just wondering, I'm sure. All right, let's start in the basement and then walk into the house. I have a budget, but I can't tell you, Pierre, because that'll be the actual price of the card, I have a feeling. Okay, I got it, I got it. Let me know. You're gonna make a kid's dreams come true. He hails from the East Coast. He's here to see his girlfriend for the holiday season, and it all rides on you. Further into the binder, I noticed some old school EXs. Can I pull out uh, other cards too? Oh yeah. I think I wanna start the whole binder with these because they're from around the era that he started collecting. I want each page to sort of be like a theme, and I'm gonna go for as many themes as I can in here. After some back and forth and some calculating for all these cards. 25, I'm gonna do like 20 each. 20 each for three? Did you 50 for three? That's fine. Uh, okay. The nine Umbreons, three Zapdoses, and the EXs, plus the Umbreon sleeves. 111. 111. 111. Easy to remember. Okay, that leaves me with 389, which is plenty to work with. All right, so here's the move. I'm gonna make Umbreon the center. Presentation is key. I stick these into the sleeves and then into the binder and search around for the next vendor. In this cabinet, I see a bunch of Charizards that make me want to make a whole Charizard theme page. I mean, everyone likes Charizard, right? How much for the Charizard from 25th anniversary? Uh, we're asking 65. All right. I'll I'll pick that up and I'll get the Charizard VMAX from the uh, UPC. So we're gonna do like a fire page in the binder. Do you have more than one of those fire energies? I think so. Okay. Sure. Okay, I'll take three. This Charizard right here. Oh my gosh, my heart's beating so fast. I'll take those six. It'd be 110. Right? 110? Okay. 110, nice. Almost the same as the last vendor. That's now $221 spent, which means we have 279 left with about four themes in the binder already. I'm still looking for a big hitter Umbreon though, and I think I definitely want to finish the binder off with something impressive, kind of in the Umbreon realm. I wonder how Sean's doing. I think I can easily get around like 500 for it. Five zero zero? Like, I don't know how we're gonna feel about, I'm supposed to have like maybe a, he didn't say the, like what I so had to do. Is the binder just empty then? The binder is empty, bro. This is by vault but it is empty. So I'm thinking it's gonna look something like that. Yeah? I mean, that that's a pretty nice binder just with that like that. Okay, this card is like beautiful. So big question is, can we do four stacks of high society, $400? And it's a deal right here, right now. Can. No. So I will give you a deal. Okay. I can meet you at 450, but no lower than that. That'd be the best deal that I can give you, and you're gonna take your pick. Too. No, this is the one, dude. Nick, all right, you better you better thank Pierre right here. All right, what, 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 where are we at right now? I've never games too. Well, that was worth the $50 drop right there, okay? These guys just hooked it up. Nick, this is an absolutely minty, minty, beautiful, extra fresco copy of this card. This is an absolute deal. We are done at $450. We just made the episode in one card, boom. At the next vendor, I saw something that I had to pick up. In the corner. You want the VMAX? Uh, the VMAX, yeah. Do you have the regular V as well? I'll check for you. Thank you. He goes into the back and grabs a few of the Umbreons, but I spot something else that I can add to the Charizard page. Yeah, I'll do um, the Charizard character right there, and the Pikachu one if you have it, and then uh, the Eevee as well. Oh, yo, what's up, more fans? I love your channel so much. Thanks, man, I appreciate that. <laughs> All right, so we got some Umbreons, that's gonna help that page. Do you have any more uh, Umbreons, and preferably any vintage Umbreons? Oh, uh, we don't carry vintage. No vintage, okay. I should have like Umbreon VMAX Rainbow, I should have Umbreon V4. I'll I'll take the rainbow. Okay. Yeah. Oh yes. Oh yes. Nice. Umbreon VMAX Rainbow is an awesome pickup. I'm giving Nick so much to look at, that's for sure. All right, so we're here with Kiko. He's a fan of the channel. We may or may not have done the best or worst thing for this challenge, and we bought one card with nearly the entire budget. Your thoughts? What'd you, wait, what'd you get? <laughs> so sticker price on this little Ferrari was $625. What'd you get for it? $450. Absolutely Ooh, mint. Wow. Straight out of a pack. Probably PSA or BGS ready is my thought. This looks like a 10. Probably a 10. You heard it here first. Kiko has given it his Kiko seal of approval. Right, remember this. This is a 10. When he grades it, just remember me. It's a 10. It's Umbreon right here. It's a 10. As we're adding everything up, I ask if there are any more Umbreons to fill out the theme page that I'm building. I have one more if I need. Okay, I'll take it, I'll take it. So we're at 107. $107, okay, that leaves us with 172 left in our budget. And with five minutes left, I know what I need to do. I need to find one Umbreon to top this entire binder off and wow Nick at the end. I wonder if Pokeball's scrambling just like I am right now. We have somehow ran into the man himself, Nick. I have spent my entire budget 
for the episode. What are your thoughts? I'm excited to see what you have. So Pat told me that your favorite Pokemon was Machamp. Yeah. All right, here's the current situation. We may or may not have blown the entire video. We have a little bit of extra ducats left over. We might try to pick up some table crumbs, but I don't know, there was no rules. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go on record and say that Pat never said that there was any rules against just buying one card. Daniel, nice. nice to meet you, Daniel. All right, dude, I have about 50 bucks and I need as many Umbreons as you can give me. I don't know, it could be like the cheapest ones, whatever. We do have Umbreon here. Okay. Umbreon VMAX. Okay, uh, how much is this bad boy? 25. 25, okay. How much are these right here? $2 each. $2 each? Yes, sir. And would you be willing to do all of these right here for 50 even, five zero? Sure. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Thank you so much, bro, I appreciate you. Nick, you better, you better, you better appreciate this, bro. I don't know where you're going in life, but if you don't keep this card forever, we're gonna have, we're gonna have a problem, okay? No, I'm kidding, man. You're a really sweet kid, and I'm really excited to be doing this with you. Boom, how does that look? How's that for a shot? Boom, and then boom. I picked up so many cards, I need a minute to organize them all. So I try some different arrangements to see what I like best. Let's do this, let's do that. Fill in these with no cards. I mean, look at that, that looks nice. I don't think these should be in here. I'm definitely frazzled for sure, but with time running out, I still need that one banger card to finish this binder off. Okay, less than five minutes to find one more Umbreon. This is way harder than I thought. I wonder how Pokevault is doing. Do you know who Deep Pocket Monster is? No. No. Do you know who Pokeball is? No. Nope. Good man. We don't like him either. We don't like him either. <laughs> we got this. We got this. We got this. I found the Umbreons. Those look awesome. On the left, this is an epic looking 2002 Umbreon McDonald's promo from Japan. You don't see these every day. And on the right, an EX Delta Species Umbreon Hollow. It's not as impressive, but still would be an awesome pickup too. Hope they're not too expensive. My heart is beating so fast. Okay, he's checking the prices. I only have a couple minutes left. Uh, this one's at 100. 100, okay. We could afford this one and I'd be happy with that, but I really want this McDonald's promo. How much is it gonna cost me? This one's probably a lot more. I think last time I looked it up, it was like two months. No, I spent too much. That would've been amazing. Oh, I'm running out of time. Okay, uh, let's just go for it. Okay. Yeah, I'll get that one for 100. I don't have, I don't have a lot of time. Man, that McDonald's promo would've been sweet, but I'm still happy with the binder overall. So this might be the money card right here. Hey, thank, thank you, you so much. I appreciate you. And I meet with a few more fans right when the clock hits zero. Thanks, man. Thank hey, appreciate you. Yeah, thanks. Happy so holidays. And it's done. All right, that's time. That last Umbreon might've done it for me. <sighs> It was so much fun. I gotta go find the guys. Hey, there he is. Oh man. Okay, so how was it? Dude, that was the best experience ever. It was so hard. I didn't know, I had, like it wasn't enough time. It's a W, put it up on the board. No. <laughs> I think I got one final card and I think that nailed it for me. My first card won it for me, I'm just saying that right now. Ooh, okay. It all comes down to Nick. He gets to choose the winning binder. And remember, the winner gets to keep the loser's binder and the loser goes home with nothing. We mix them up so he doesn't know whose is whose. Oh my gosh, I'm kind of nervous right now. I, I'm nervous. No pressure, Nick, but you better pick mine. I'm just telling you. No, he's gonna pick mine. So you get to pick one and look through it. Okay. Here we go. Oh man, he's looking at mine. I'm so nervous. First page, not meant to impress, just a little warm up because I'm hoping for a reaction on the next page. And. Okay. Oh my gosh. That's what I'm going for right there. Oh my gosh. Yo, and even this guy in the back takes a peek. Got the celebrations, Charizard, the promo, three fire images. Can't go wrong with that. Next page, incoming vintage here. Oh, I don't know. The Umbreon page. We've got three stacked doses from Fossil. That's pretty stacked. Stacked, that's right. That's what I'm going for here. As much heat as I could put in here in just 30 minutes, but we're not done yet. Next page. The rainbow page. Max rainbow. Vault impressed says goodbye. That's insane. What is actually happening? Don't forget about that vintage Umbreon, Nick. I got a Delta species of Umbreon. That's right. There it is. Take it all in, Nick. That's a hundred dollar Umbreon right there. Is that it? That's it. That's it. <laughs> You're hard to read, Nick, but you know what? I did my best and I like the stacked approach that I took to fill out more of the binder. Okay, so that's binder number one. And here is binder number two. This one is Pokevault. And I'm just as curious as Nick to see what's inside. Let's do it. A page full of Umbreons, just like what I did. <laughs> did we have the same idea? Got the nice array of Umbreon V. And then? 
this happened. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. So that high five from the first page wasn't because we did the same thing. It was because he knew I had no idea what was coming. Oh man, I almost did the exact same thing, but I decided to go the volume play instead in my binder. Two completely different strategies today, which is pretty cool. And now, the moment of truth. Nick, you have a very important decision. Do you want to go with binder number one or binder number two? Which binder will Nick pick? Will it match your pick? I have to go with the one with the moon brion. No! Wait, dude. Oh, you got the moon brion. Can't beat that. That is the card. Oh. Favorite card you do not own. Moon brion, I have to say it. Poke Vault, well played, my friend. You won this time. And although I'm sad, I think Nick made a great choice. And for being a subscriber and for playing today, this is your binder. You get to keep those cards. It's too nice of you guys. And as promised, Poke Vault gets to keep my binder and give it away on his channel. So make sure you subscribe to him. And yep, he gets an additional 500 to buy something for his subscribers with too. So big congrats to the Vault Squad today. Because the champs are here. The champs right, are here. done. You're done. <laughs> Stop talking. You're done. All right, we hope you enjoyed the challenge. That was a lot of fun. Congratulations to you thank and you your did. subscribers. Poke Vault, make sure you subscribe to him. Nick, thank you so much, Nick. Appreciate you as well. If you want to be like Nick, and maybe get into one of these videos in the future. All you have to do is hit subscribe. We'll see you in the next video. Later, guys.